we suffer in this war. We experience the complicated times, and we never complete. We never experience such a complicated times, and we live in this two environment. Uh, we hate Russia because of this aggression. We hate Russia too much, starting from twenty and fourteen, when the Crimea and Donbas started. But uh, the one thing I'm I am pretty sure about that we will win. We will surely win, and that will be probably the the most important victory in modern Ukraine times. Yeah. I thought maybe we can uh, start with the upcoming tour. Uh, you toured last in November. And now in January, you will stop by my hometown, actually, in oh, Turku. Cool. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask, how is it to plan gigs and tours at the moment for you? Um, everything on our own. We do the things ourselves. We don't have booking. Do we communicate with the promoters, with the organizers, with the people who are into this kind of a music business. And uh, now it has uh, uh, an extra meaning for us. Not it's, it's not about kind of a career. I hate this word when talking about our music and music creative process. Uh, but now we are going to play shows to collect some money collect some funds that we can transfer into to the people who defend our native city of Kharkiv. We, we, this, this is done, this is, doesn't look li- li- like a police guy donates or do donates or whatever. We're selling our merchandise and uh, all the funds we collect from selling merchandise we transfer to the people in need in our country. So that's... Um, the, the most important meaning for us is probably this. This is a key you know, meaning for a concert that we play nowadays when there's uh, a war in our country. That is amazing. Well, um, we have all also seen great concert photos from last year where you are playing with the Ukrainian flag. Um, how, how were those gigs for you? How was the atmosphere on those gigs? Most of all, it, that was that was from from good to great the welcome was warm in in every city at every festival everything was good uh, i remember only one one thing that um, that was not uh, not pleasant for us that was in germany at a festival fimble uh, when um, some guy shout uh, in the from the audience like make music not politics. Uh, I I don't like this this uh, word because uh, man this is not a politics. This is not a politics. Yeah, of course we do music, but uh, we are not about music. We are not. We are about things that are we experience now, and it's quite a sensible things. It's not a politics. We are not here for talking about government things, about left wing it right wing it things about politics as, as it is. It's about it's about life. It is war in our country, so we experience this is this life well the rest the rest shows and festivals was really really good i remember we played in romania the show the guys was so pleasant so warm and somebody even kissed the ukrainian flag while we played at the show so that was nice nice experience that was fun well let's talk a bit about music your last album came out in 2020 is there an idea when we will hear new music and what kind of direction are you taking next? 
we started to even to record new music in late 2021 we recorded four new songs we recorded like basics fundamentals uh, i mean drums bass and rhythm guitars first we we wanted to go for ep afterwards we decided to um to not to waste time with the ep because this format is probably not up to date nowadays <laughs> so we decided to make four extra songs to make the it's like a complete album and uh, and in the february last year right right before the, the, the full-scale war started we've been uh, to a rehearsal in our native city Kharkov and we we composed two two new songs and after that we we gather it uh, with all the stuff at the rehearsal only one time be, before a festival in Latvia so creative process I would say it's on standby mode. It's not kind of off. We probably will resume with it, but no, I can I can tell you when it should be. Maybe in February after after this tour with the guest tower. After when we are back to Ukraine after this tour, maybe we'll gather in Ukraine for. For making some some new music, but again, uh, as I told you before, we recorded four four new tracks. So you can be pretty sure that we will never disappear without any new music after whether what a quasi So at least at least you can hear four songs for that. But we, by the way, we we would like to go for for maybe one or two singles before we'll issue the new record. So. I think it will be not not so not so big hiatus from us. Yeah, that sounds good. If we could uh, take a bit of a look back in the band's history, you know, you started already in two thousand and four. No. Uh, what are the first things that come to mind when you think about the first years of the band? That was completely different. <laughs> we was young boys. We talked about. You know, when they were talked about a big career to 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 be to to get huge, to play at huge festivals, yeah, really, when they were when they were thought about it, um, we wanted to to make music, to have fun, uh, to record albums. Uh, that's that was important things for us to 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 compose uh, songs to record them after after the after you compose them because there are a lot of bands who just compose songs and rehearse them eternally and never never record and release the albums. So compose uh, songs, rehearse, uh, record them, release albums, and do shows do live shows do counters do festivals and we had fun with this uh, kind of uh, agenda uh, of the first years first three years playing um i don't know it was no not a uh, basic raw black metal as it is yeah we've been mostly into melodic black metal but later on things changed slightly from year to year and we became more confident i would say and the the more music and different music we listen to uh the more interesting uh stuff we did on the mysticism record that was uh probably first album that is interesting in horse discography for me so my discography of horse uh, starting from mysticism i think then return to abandon that record is still my favorite one from cars discography and later on some some new and good good albums to release signing contract with a candlelight records playing shows abroad playing some 
uh, festivals in Europe, in East Europe first, and then West Europe. That was amazing. So that's completely different, and we're getting, I would say, older. Not kindly the old guys, but getting older and getting more confident. I would say so. Yeah, when when you have um, uh, families, kids, uh, and yeah, job uh, for a living, things a little bit. It's not a, not a little bit. Things a bit different for you than uh, for guys who are uh, who do music as their key business, key job. So yeah, everything probably stays the same uh, in terms of um, doing music that you like and doing uh, things that you love. Uh, and still, whenever think about uh, business, about huge festivals and uh, huge tours, and you know, so that's it. We. <laughs> We love what we do, and as soon as we love what we do, we'll keep going the same way. Is there some uh, plans, or what are like uh, course future plans after victory? <laughs> oh, uh, honestly, we don't have plans. Our plans is do music. <laughs> Uh, the last two tracks that we composed was in February last year, so a, a year exactly without new tracks. So yeah, our future plans is to compose new tracks and then to go to the studio. I don't know where it will be and when it will be, but uh, we we should do it this year uh, to record the. Uh, uh, some tracks to make an album to try to release it not to try to release it I mean to try to get a contract <laughs> and then to release it yeah so that's a plan so, okay of course uh, some festivals we don't have uh, a lot of festivals we don't have uh, many festivals scheduled for this year only two or three festivals and this tour the coming tour with guest tower over Baltic countries but who knows maybe we'll have some offers later so we'll see so that's that's plans for us that's plans <laughs>